friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a totally unedited phaco surgery let us observe the surgical steps this is the main incision at around 11 o'clock with a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus this is a side port about two and a half clock hours away from the main incision on the left side an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and then tripan blue 0.06 percent dye is applied over the anterior capsule the dye is washed out and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used as OVD and this visco is used to fill off the anterior chamber. Now one more sideboard is made on the right side of the main incision at around 8.30 that is 2.5 clock hours away from the main incision on the right side. And here is the rexus. A capsular tag is raised by a 26 gauge band needle. Now I use uterta forceps hold this capsular tag. Go anticlockwise. In this case, I'm going very close to the pupillary margin to get an adequate sized rexus. This is a mid dilated pupil, and I am expecting floppy iris in this case. Now, as I do hydrodissection and as I depress the nucleus, see the pupil becomes small. As I rotate the nucleus, the pupil becomes more small. And now, my plan is to chop this nucleus into many fragments about six fragments and then emulsify the fragments single-handedly because see what happens as I introduce the chopper and as the fluid licks through the side port and as I apply vacuum the people becomes small And this is the first shelf. This is second shelf. This is third. And this is fourth. And this is fifth. Five jobs and six fragments. And now I remove the handpiece but I don't remove the remove the chopper I inject some visco let the iris fall back and then I remove the chopper this is to protect the iris now as I inject visco the people dilates and as I will emulsify the pieces single-handedly you'll see that the pupillary dilatation will uh, remain almost of the same size here it is the pupil is remaining dilated and picking off the fragments one by one facing the nuclear masses and just picking off the fragment from seven o'clock and now the other fragments tumbles and comes at the aspirating port of the feco needle and it is done so single-handedly the nucleus has been managed beautifully otherwise if I use chopper the people will become small iris will tend to prolapse through the side port and a lot of other problems 
and now I'm using this 23 gauss simple cannula for removal of cortex. I touched the iris at 7 o'clock and the pupil is becoming small. In eye phase, whenever we touch the iris, the pupil tends to become more small. Now in this case, there is some sub-incisional cortex which I will not be able to remove by the Simco. So I have asked for bimanual irrigation aspiration. Here it is. The irrigation is from the right side port, aspiration from the left and the sub-incisional cortical matter is removed. In this case, we have selected Hoya single piece monofocal intraocular lens. Visco is used to fill up the bag as well as the anterior chamber. And now, the Curtis goes into the anterior chamber and the lens is delivered by screwing it out. And I hope the lens has gone into the capsular bag but we have an instrument to check whether it is in the capsular bag or not. An instrument which is shaped like the letter Y and the iris can be retracted very nicely by this instrument and we can check whether the lens is in the bag or not and I can see that the lens is in the capsular bag go to the other haptic and I find that that haptic also is in the capsular bag. And now the visco is to be removed very nicely, thoroughly. And here it is. The Simco goes behind the eye well and removes the Visco. And now I'm using irrigation and aspiration together to remove the visco. First, the irrigation is used to remove some visco. Now irrigation and aspiration is used together and the visco has been nicely removed. Friends, we must remove visco, we must give some quality time to remove viscoelastic substance so that in the post-operative period we can avoid visco-induced raised intraocular pressure. Now the side ports are closed hydrating the corneal stroma on either side of these stab incisions. And then this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. See the pupil has constricted, it has become almost 3 millimeter at this moment. Now the case is concluded. The 
integrity of the owns are checked there should not be any leakage from any side few drops of moxifloxacin is applied over the ocular surface intraocular pressure is checked and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills do single handed feco in ifis divide the nucleus into small fragments about 6 to 8 fragments and emulsify the pieces single handedly don't use the chopper and you will be amazed how easily you can do that